What's going on everyone? Today I'm working on this antenna that I built. This is a an eight segment collinear antenna that I built for ADSB reception and aircraft tracking. I built the antenna to a spec that I found, actually a few different videos that I watched that point towards this design. So I'll try to link to those. I kind of followed those and, and made a little bit of my own judgment, but it's just solid core TV cable uh, that you cut into specific sections and kind of cobble them together and it, it it ended up making a pretty good antenna i was able to receive with my sdr um planes that were about 190 statute miles away which is far and away better than anything else i've tried as far as antennas go so i'm really happy with this and my plan today is to build a protective cover casing for it i've got a few a few different pvc parts here this is a junction box that i'd like the sdr to live inside i want this to be removable so i'm gonna kind of finagle it together so I can I can pull this out easily and a piece of gray PVC or CPVC right over here. What I need to do first is uh, what I well I, this is the connector end of that uh, antenna cable. This is a BNC uh, bulkhead flange. There was a was it a BNC on the other side? No, I think it was a bare connector. Um, and so this, just this side has the BNC. So I attached the conductor to the conductor on, the conductor of the antenna, I should say, to the conductor of the BNC, and then the shield of the, of the cable over here to the shield of the BNC connector. So now on this side, it's just BNC, and I've got a BNC male to SMA male that connects to the, to connect to the SDR. The problem is this is a little bit long. If I put this into the junction box here. It's a little bit large and the, the SDR won't fit properly and I definitely won't be able to remove it. So what I, what I wanna do is kind of sink this section up into the PVC a little bit, but the diameter is just a little bit large. It's not sitting inside right now, but the, di the, the size of this square bulkhead is a little bit large. So what I think I'm gonna do is file this down a little bit and then I'm gonna take some wraps of electrical tape or some linerless splicing tape around this connector here to kind of make a shim or a rubber rubber cork or stopper, so to speak. And then I can kind of slide this down a little bit into the into the PVC to the proper depth I want so it'll fit into that junction box. So I'm gonna to get to work on kind of shaping this and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, this is what I was trying to describe earlier, filing down the bulkhead so it fits inside this PVC. And it just fits pretty snugly right now. So now what I can do is I can sink this in to the proper depth so that all of the, let's get that just kind of sitting in there. Ooh, it's tight, crap. Okay, it's not too bad. All right, good, tight is good. But what I now can do is, I can balance this with one hand, just basically adjust the depth so that the, the connector will stick out the proper amount inside this junction box. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this linerless splicing tape to make a, a wrap around these connectors to kind of firm up the, uh, make it like a rubber plug basically to firm up the, the connection, the mechanical <laughs> sitting inside the, sitting inside the tube here. This doesn't really have to bear a lot of strength, it just has to basically hold the antenna in place inside the PVC. And I could use some epoxy or something, but I always like to build things for serviceability. So I'd, I'd like to be able to pull this out at some point if I really need to, to either replace the PVC or I wanna copy the antenna design or something. So I'm gonna try to sync that in there and we'll see how that works. Quick update here. This is what I was trying to describe when I mentioned making like a rubber plug. So these wraps of splicing tape are just about the diameter or the, I guess the outside dimension of this uh, bulkhead flange. So what I can do now is gingerly sink this into the PVC. I might have to make a few adjustments, a few files, or take a layer of tape off or add some as it goes, but I'm just going to try to squeeze this in such that it, the SMA connector comes out at the proper height in that junction box. So we'll see how that goes. All right, everyone, this is just about the finished product here, sitting in my vise. I hammered in, or rather just kind of gently squeezed in that rubber plug doohickey that I built, and it's, it just about went to the edge of the PVC pipe and then I added the junction box here. So for installing the SDR, so I, I use this in a lot of different places. It, it doesn't necessarily need a, the ADSB antenna all the time. So what I can do is I can just drop this in, 
and saddle it up to the SMA, tighten that down, and then I can come in with a USB extension from the bottom here. And it's, uh, if, if, of course, if this is sitting straight up and down, it's basically weatherproof. I, I'm not planning on doing anything more with the bottom as far as sealing goes. I, when I use this, it's maybe for like a day or two or three that it's going to sit outside. So I'd be, I'd be fine with this, you know, being open on the bottom. It, it's drip, drip and rainproof. And I think that's that's all I need. If this was going to be outside permanently, I would approach this a little bit differently, get some some better sealing on here or something, and map out the cabling a little bit better, or maybe use a bigger junction box just so I have more room and can kind of lock things down a bit better. But this fits snugly in here, and it's uh, it's it's going to be easy to put in and take out. And of course, this has a a side cover that goes on here. So I'm, I think uh, that about concludes this. I'm not 100% on adding any kind of PVC cement to these joints, this one. Well, that one doesn't really need it because it's only going to be rained on from the top. This one, I don't really want a PVC cement because if I ever want to take this apart, I'd like the PVC cement is completely permanent. This would not come apart at all. So I think I might just put a bead of silicone sealant around the edge here, and I can always hack that off with a razor blade to take the take the whole thing apart if I ever need to. So again, serviceability, I always like to make things take apartable, uh, disassemblable. <laughs> is, that a, is that a word? So I think that's where I'm going to stop here and maybe just patch this up a little bit. So thank you all for watching. I hope this inspired a, an antenna build for you. Um, oh, oh the, so uh, cost-wise, the PVC end cap was, I think, a dollar. This junction box was around five dollars and i actually got a few feet of pvc at a garage sale for like a buck so this was well under ten dollars for me but even if you were buying you could buy a length of pvc it's not terribly expensive this is three quarter inch pvc by the way and this is a three quarter inch junction box which fits the sdr uh, very snugly this is the rtl sdr uh, version three yeah v3 bottom left there so hopefully that helps you out for your build and uh again thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next video